Welcome back to the Gauntlet, everybody. I'm your host, Big Daddy J. Rules of the Gauntlet are simple. To be a contestant, you leave a comment down below. Contestants are picked every single week from the comment section. There's 10 trivia questions that you have to get through, and if you get through all of them, you can qualify for our double or nothing round, which is our bonus round, and you have one skip question that you have to use before answering a question. If a question is too hard, basically it is your lifeline out. And today's guest is a special guest, an Apex Legends YouTuber, very well known, Thornton Smash. So today we'll be following him to see if he can make it through the gauntlet. Question number one, starting it off very easy. True or false, Pathfinder is a Marvin robot. True. Is it true? And it is true. Of course it is. Moving oh, on to question number two. Oh, I know it's so hard. And moving on to question I was number really two. I mean there. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, shit, did I forget? Question number two. Who is Bloodhound's uncle? Is it A Armin? B Archer? Is it C Alakai? Or D Amir? D uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's B uh Arthur. Is it B Arthur? <laughs> And it is Arthur. I've just always said Arthur, which is just weird now that I've saw the spelling is not what I thought it was. Moving on to question number three. How many people can be apex predators? Is it A, 500? 750. Oh my gosh. Just didn't even, like, didn't even hesitate. B, 750. And it is B, 750. Moving on to question number four. What was the event that Wraith had in season two? Is it A, Voidwalker, Voidwalker. B, Asylum, C, Iron Crown, or D, Grand Soiree? And it is a Voidwalker. No hesitation again. I, maybe I did make these too easy. We'll see. Question number they call five. Me Michael Thornton. So. Michael Thornton. Question number <laughs> five. Who were the three people on Apex's title screen when the game first came out? Is it, uh, or for the first two, are Wraith, Gibraltar, and who's the third? Is it A, Mirage? Is it B, Pathfinder, C, Bloodhound, or D, Bangalore? Uh, Bloodhound. Is it Bloodhound? And it is Bloodhound. Moving on to question number six. Which of these POIs is not a location and has never been a location in Apex? Is it A, Survey Camp, B, The Harvester, C, Thunderwatch, or D, Storm Station? Could I actually get that repeated one more time? Sure. Which of these POIs is not a location in Apex and has never been a location in Apex? Is it A, Survey Camp, B, The Harvester, C, Thunderwatch, or D, Storm Station? I think it's D. I think Thunder watches. Is it D Storm Station? Boom, and you got it right. It is oh, D man. Storm I Station. Was <laughs> terrified that C. I was like, what is Watson's place that's supposed to be where like the town takeover is gonna go? I was like, yeah, Fuck. those are definitely the two that uh, it would have came down to. I think for most people. My, moving yeah. on to question number seven. What was the last season to be identified by a number? Is it A, season six, B, season seven, C, season eight, or D, season nine? I guess uh, I'll, I'll choose skip here. I'm confused on the question, if that makes sense. Because season seven's Ascension, season eight is Mayhem, season nine is Legacy. Yeah, so like but in the, like, like they stopped, uh, when did they stop advertising it by the numbers? Uh, like they were no longer, like if you go and look at the trailers now, they're not, uh I'll, obviously you're gonna use your skip so i'll oh, explain it okay well i guess i mean i'll use my skip but i'm pretty sure that the answer would be season six did you okay you did say you're gonna use your skip so that is good that you used your skip because that <laughs> the correct answer was actually in season eight basically after season eight the logo stopped being apex legend season eight apex legend season seven and then the name it was just plastered as apex legend season legacy obviously in season nine so they kind of stopped calling it season nine season 10 season 11 season 12 and it was just called by its name specifically and there was no more numbers at least from the side of respawn because obviously we still call it season 12 11 and all that stuff but you know apex has not actually done that in a long time and the reasoning for it kind of dates about a year ago when Ryan Ridley made a post back when he was still working at Respawn saying that you can basically make a game last a little bit longer if you know you're not calling it Apex Legends season 22 or season 45 you know you kind of break it up into chapters maybe names instead of just numbers because after a while the numbers will make people feel like it's strung out and it's lasted way too long uh Good maybe, to know. maybe I, yeah 
Maybe I could have worded that. Maybe I could have worded that differently. But moving on to question number eight. This will be an easy one since you're day one. Which event had solos mode? Is it Void Walker, Iron Crown, Iron Grand Soiree, or Legendary Hunt? I knew you were gonna get it so fast. So I tried to read it off before you could get it off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, B Iron Crown. Definitely B. Is Iron it B Crown. Iron Crown? And of course, it is B Iron Crown. All right. Question number nine. I, I would say the last three here are are definitely somewhat difficult we'll see maybe not for you because you're the guru here we go what season introduced gold mags as ground loot is it a season seven b season eight c season nine or d season ten uh season eight is it season eight and it is season eight Woo! golly dude like <laughs> you're definitely a lot better than i thought here we go Question number 10. Match the voice line. The best revenge is cold as steel. Is that A, Bangalore, B, Ash, C, Pathfinder, or D, Valk? That would be Ash. Is it B, Ash? And it is B, Ash. Oh. Man, like not hesitating at all, like not even using the 30 seconds you have just flying through them like oh i have 30 seconds yeah uh probably oh, that's great yeah that's I, good to know maybe yeah. I'll, maybe i'll spot out the clock so i'm down. assuming as as well as you dominated that that you're gonna want to take the bonus question but you don't have to the rules are this basically you're now through all 10 questions you can stop right now take the prize you've got or you can double down for nothing and say, you know, I'll take the risk on question number 11. If I get it wrong, I lose everything. If I get it right, I double my Apex coins. So would you like to take the bonus question or would you like to walk away? Let's go with bonus question. All right, bonus question. This is definitely the hardest one, uh, but knowing you, it's probably just, you already know what I'm gonna ask, I'm, I'm assuming. Here we go. Question number 11. What is Wraith's subject number? Is it A, 61137, B, 68172, C, 62282, or D, 69201? Uh, six. Which one was the one that started? Did, how many started with six? Sorry, can I hit it one last time? I apologize. Yeah, no, you're fine. This you're fine. Hard. Yeah, no, you're fine. I'm glad at least there's one that's challenging. Yeah, for no, you. it's really. I, I had to think because, like, I had to like visually try to remember when we saw it in her stories from the Outland. So just one more time. Yeah, no problem. All right, what is Wraith's subject number? Is it A six one one three seven, B six eight one seven two, C six two two eight two, or D six nine two zero one? Oh, it's definitely A. I'm gonna go A hard. Is it A61137? And it is 61137. Woo! My dude is just an absolute apex guru. Well, if you guys want to know anything about the game in all of its existence, probably more than what the respawn developers themselves know, you go to this guy, uh, just absolutely dominated and aced the test. I mean, the only one that you got uh somewhat wrong which could have been on my end through through bad questioning was the one you used the skip for so this absolutely dominant so uh wow congratulations and you survived the gauntlet yeah, All right, and that's it. so let us know down in the comments below how well you did on the trivia and if you'd like to participate in the next episode make sure to leave a comment down below we're picking people from the comments section and until next time have a great rest of your day and good night